We at the LSE have a chance to invite the best quality experts who work on the problem from the different angles. And today we have people who could comment with high level expertise. I think people in the audience themselves were surprised how much they learned from others. Well, I think these sort of events are fundamentally important because it's establishing uh, a framework for academic uh, dialogue, which uh, includes not just uh, abstract uh, analysis, but also uh, an element of policy um, and practitioner engagement with how do we get out of this mess. Well, it is absolutely a fantastic opportunity, in my opinion, to engage and exchange ideas in terms of knowledge transfer and also to state the new ideas. It's good to have someone from the UK, from Russia, from Ukraine, from Finland, so kind of the scope is quite good because the positions are quite different, I think. Excellent, very good discussion of opinions, very different opinions on Russia, Ukraine, EU, the crisis, questions about identity, historical narratives. You have academics who, talks about, who talk about identity, this really kind of analytical depth that they're bringing. What's important here is that we get different perspectives into the discussion. In Europe we tend to view the conflict from an entirely European perspective, as is expected, uh, but we need to hear how different parts of that conflict, the Russian side, the Ukrainian side, view the conflict. Very, very good collection of people, uh, quite a wide range of views, uh, quite heated exchanges of opinion, uh, but really quite in, in, intelligent, nobody getting too carried away by emotion. The discussion was really inspired because the organisers, instead of just asking people to speak on topics, had put forward a series of highly provocative questions and that really stimulated discussion and debate. Well, I thought it was a very good collection of people who knew what they were talking about and unusually on these academic occasions when people talk about our relationship with Russia, this time there were actually a lot of Russians here so that you got it from the horse's mouth instead of a whole lot of foreigners telling us what they think Russians think. So I think that's very positive. What I thought was most interesting was the great deal of reflective and intelligent realism to really understand what the limits of power and exercise of power could be. And all of this was based on a very realistic understanding of EU as well as Russia. The challenge for us is to take perhaps this period of, of frank exchange and, and somehow transpire and make it happen also on the political level between Russia and the West. 